hello hello ladies and welcome back to another vlog if this is your first time ever seeing my face hearing my voice my name is paula pierre i am a wholeness coach and founder of beautifully made and i'm so excited that you are here so we're back at it another week another vlog right um so this vlog is going to be a little bit different and if you're wondering Paula, why do you look like that? <laughs> why do you have your scarf on? Like, what are you doing? I'm about to go to the gym. Um, I've been off my gym. My gym game has just kind of been really off for like the past month. Um, I feel like since I got married, and for those who don't know, I got married on September 30th. Um, but I feel like, I don't know, like since I got married, my my gym game has just been a little bit off i know like the week after i got married i think i was good i think i went my three days i try to go um at least three days right but anyway long story short i'm going to the gym this morning i'm gonna do a quick lower body workout um i'm gonna try to get some clips for you all just so you all can see what i'm doing i am not a trainer or <laughs> anything like that um, but I do have an app that I use that I really, really like. It's called Gym Streak. Um, and it's a very, to me, like it's just a very good app and it doesn't cost you much per month. So if you're looking for, um, you know, just an app that will help you with your workouts, I encourage it, suggest it. Um, definitely not sponsored in, in any way, but it definitely works for me. So um what else so yeah this this week's vlog is going to look a little bit different so what i'm going to do this week is kind of get highlights of certain days this week and things that i have going on so typically i you know vlog an entire day right or for the most part uh for or for the most um of a day i'll do a vlog for that but i decided to switch it up a little bit and just do like highlights of a few days right so you all let me know what you like do you do you like the you know just a day from kind of start to finish or do you like a kind of a few days in my life where you get to see um you know different things i have going on on different days so i want to make sure that the content um um, you know, is encouraging for you ladies and it's what you need and what you want. Um, and of course, you know, I'm always going to have a, a encouraging word. I'm always going to have a word. Okay. <laughs> I'm always going to have a word in every single vlog. And so, um, just be on the lookout because in this vlog, you're going to get a word. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to the gym. I do wear a mask in the gym. Um, so I will be putting on my mask in the car. Um, that's just, it just makes me more comfortable that way, um, to have on a mask. So this lower body workout is about 43 minutes. I think that's what the app says. So I'm going to say just 45 minutes of working out and right now it is 8 29 so i need to be heading out um heading out to to get to the gym and right now i have a planet fitness uh membership but i'm looking forward to my apartment complex like the gym opening up uh here because i would prefer to just walk downstairs and go to the gym but they've been doing some renovations um and so i may have to wait a little bit longer for that but all right let's go ahead and get this workout in and i will see you all a little bit later
Hey ladies, all right, so it has been several hours later since my workout. Um, I came home, I had a meeting shortly after coming home, and then after that meeting, made some breakfast, and then did some more work, went in the shower, all that good stuff, right? And it is now 2.34. Don't know where the day has gone, if I'm being honest. Is, is it just me or sometimes, you know, you you look up and you're like, it was just 8 a.m. Why is it now 3 p.m.? What have I done today? <laughs> like a part of me feels like that because it's just, man, it's, you know, it just go, the time seems to go by so fast. But um, I'm taking a little bit of a break from work. I'm going to jump back into it in a minute. But I wanted to show something to you ladies that I am very, very excited about. Um, yeah, so let me, let me just show you. So I wanted to invest in a new Bible. So I have several Bibles um, here at home, some of which are study Bibles. I have a parallel Bible that my husband bought for me. Um and you know just regular bibles that are not you know study bibles or anything like that but one version that i really do like to read and to study from is the amplified version and um i don't have a bible that is the amplified version so i invested in one and i got this um bible off of amazon i think it's about 40 bucks but I had an Amazon gift card so I used that to contribute to it but I purchased this Amplified Bible this is in large um large print as you can see it's not super small I don't like super small print um and then I also purchased these cute Bible tabs <clears throat> so um yeah, super excited about this. And one of the reasons why, thank you, Holy Ghost. One of the reasons why um, I wanted to invest in a new Bible. Yes, Lord God. Speak through me, Father God. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> So one of the reasons why I um, invested in a new Bible is because I just felt like I wanted to get back to that place where I'm always having a Bible, the physical Bible in my hands, right? We know that technology has advanced so that we have our Bible apps and things on our phones, which is great, right? Um, and even in church, you know, a lot of churches have screens where they put the, put up the scripture and that's great. But I wanted to get back to that place where I'm flipping through the pages, not just at home, but at church. When I travel, just if I'm in the car, you know, and my husband and I are going somewhere, you know, and I want to bring my Bible and flip through the pages and pull out my highlighters and my pens and really dig deep into the word. I just really wanted to get back to that. And I chose to get the amplified version because in all honesty, um, the main version that I read um, and or study from is New King James. I love New King, J King James. I have a New King James um, study Bible that I absolutely love. I had it for years. Um, the cover has, the cover is no longer even on it. Um, <clears throat> but I also like the amplified version because it does bring more clarity to the scripture for me. And, um, yeah, so I decided I want to invest in the amplified. And so this will be the Bible cause it's not super big. Like my new King James, because it is a study Bible, like it's big, <laughs> That, that Bible is big, okay? So I wanted something, <clears throat> excuse me, that would be easier for me to just kind of carry around day to day, all of that type of stuff, right? So speaking of carrying around, I also purchased um, a nice carrying case. This was something that I saw on um, a YouTube channel. 
Her name is Ashley Empowers. I've been following her for quite some time. And she talked about investing in a new Bible. And she also got um, this same carrying case. And they have other colors and stuff, but I chose to get the pink one. They also have a purple one as well. And I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, maybe I should have got the purple one because of the purple Bible. I don't know, y'all. Um, but anyway, so let me open up this carrying case. So it has a two mesh pockets, one that's smaller that I keep my highlighters in and the other one is, is a little bit bigger. And my plan is to put some sort of like a notebook or something that I can write um, notes on. And then here you have an area where you can put your pens or you know anything else that may fit into these little holes. And then this is where you put the Bible. Um, and it also has these little straps right here that <clears throat> I think is good for if you have like an iPad or like something small because iPads are kind of kind of big. But um, if you have something small, like a small tablet or something like that, I think that'll be a good spot for it. But the Bible goes here and then you just close it up, right? It also has a pocket in the front that I actually keep this strap in the pocket because I'm not really, I like the strap, it's cute, but I'm not like a huge fan of it, right? So anyway, yeah, so uh, this is the carrying case that I got. I got both the Bible and the carrying case on uh, Amazon. So I really wanna just take this time to encourage you to get into your word. Like, I want you ladies to understand that the word of God has promises. <laughs> it affirms who you are. It gives you guidance for life. Like, it is alive. And the more that you study the word, the more that you dig into it, right? Because we can we can sit here and just read a chapter and keep it moving and say, okay, I did it. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I was in the word for the day. But I'm gonna tell you, sis, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not enough. It's not enough. And the other, the, the part two that I want you to understand as well is that it, it is also the posture of your heart, right? Because if you open up the Bible, if you open up the word of God with the mindset that, okay, I just need, I just need to check this off of my list for the day. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now that that's more about religion than it is relationship. Because relationship says, okay, man, I woke up late. I only have 10 minutes, but Lord, I pray that you speak to me in these 10 minutes. I pray that you guide me on what to read. Like what, where should I even start today, God? Like, what do you want to speak to me today? What do you want me to, to get from your word? You could have 10 minutes, but depending on your heart posture, when you open up this word will determine the impact of those 10 minutes. So is, is the word of God and reading and studying the word more about religion for you or is it about relationship? And if I'm being honest, you know, I have to really watch myself because I was in the mindset that, you know, my devotion time with the Lord had to be this, this, and this. And if it doesn't look this way, then I haven't really had a great devotion time. Like, my time with God wasn't really impactful. It wasn't, uh, you know, didn't, didn't really make a difference. And so I, every single day, <laughs> I'm being totally honest, every single day, I have to work on my thought process to say, okay, Paula, whether you have 10 minutes, whether you have one hour, whether you have an unlimited amount of, amount of time, that part doesn't matter as much as the posture of your heart. Now, of course, you know, you want to do what you can. I, I encourage really spending time with God, like just you and him in the morning time. And that's what I try to do. Does that always happen? No, it, it doesn't. I always, I, I don't always get that devotion time in the morning, right? Sometimes I have to wait until the end of the day. But, um, like I've said in a, in a video that when you have a relationship with the Lord, 
you know, you are continually engaging with him throughout your day. Like it's not just, you know, dedicated to one time, right? Um, so take, you know, a marriage for instance, right? You talk to your spouse throughout the day. But there are also times where you spend dedicated, um, uninterrupted quality time with them, right? Not multitasking, talking to them and washing the dishes or whatever, but you're spending that quality time. And that's what devotion time is. It's your quality time with the father. It's, it's, it's saying, all right, Lord, I'm here like no distractions, nothing like me and you, God, whatever you want to do, I'm here. I want to hear from you. I want to pour myself out. I, I, I need to give you what's been on my heart, what's been burdening me. And God, I really need your peace. I really need some clarity. I really need direction, God. I really need you to guide me. I really need you, Holy Spirit, to, to, to be my guide, to be my teacher, to show me the way to go. I need wisdom, God. Like all of this is what our quiet time or our devotion time with him should be about. And it's not about having the latest and greatest, <laughs> you know, Bible and going out and investing in something new. You don't have to do that. You know, I would encourage you to, you know, especially if you're new in the word, to get a Bible that gives you good clarity. Now, again, I would personally recommend New King James or Amplified. That's what I would recommend. Other people may have other opinions and um, that's that's cool. Like, you know, do your research. Um, but I personally would recommend um, New King James or Amplified. But the point is, the point in all of what I'm saying is that you gotta go deeper and you have to want to go deeper because the things that the enemy tries to come at you with the reason why he's successful in planting false ideas and false narratives in your mind the reason why depression and anxiety and fear and all of these things that are not of god has such a grip on you sis is because you haven't spent enough time in the word and with your father. And so you're struggling to believe that you really are beautifully made. You're struggling to believe and, and, and to understand who you are in the Lord. But I'm telling you, you open up this book and you're going to find out who you are. But you got to believe it as well. And you got to know what God says about you. You got to know what God says about your life, right? And so um, I just wanted to show you ladies this, but also to encourage you to get back in your word. Again, don't make it religious. <laughs> Do not make it religious, okay? Do not make it about, well, if I can't spend an hour, then, you know, I just can't spend time with God. No, if you got 10 minutes, spend the 10 minutes, but come with the right heart posture. Take some notes, write some things down. If you got to write scriptures on, on note cards or sticky notes and keep them with you, you do that. But I just want to encourage you to get into your word. All right. So let's see how long have i been talking <laughs> it is 255 now um so i'm gonna jump off here i'm gonna do some more work and yeah i'll catch you ladies a little bit later so um this morning and today is the monday if i did not say that earlier in the vlog so this morning um i i got up and like, you know, brush, uh, I didn't brush my teeth. I got some coffee, um, and wash my face and all of that. I brush my teeth after I drink my coffee anyway. So my husband was preparing to leave for work and I found myself in the kitchen, like, you know, just trying to get his 
lunch together and I had a thought in my mind that's like, you know, not, I had a thought in my mind, you know, just feeling like, okay, I need to like, you know, hurry up so I can, um, you know, get into worship so I can get into that quiet time so I can like something along those lines. And I, I sense Holy Spirit saying, this is worship. Like this is glorifying me. What you're doing right now by, um, you know, um, being the keeper of your home and, you know, taking care, you know, of your husband and, 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 and loving him enough to make sure that he has food, you know, uh, for his lunch and, and snacks or whatever for the day. Like you don't get that you're serving me because you're serving him. And it just, it put a smile on my face because I was like, you know what, Lord, you're right. You know, the Lord will always be my first love. Always. He's going to, he comes before my husband, right? He's going to come before the children that we have. Like he comes before anything and anybody. He's always going to have that place in my life. And he should always have that place in my life. No one should be um, worshipped above the Lord, not anyone. No one else should be worshiped at all except for except for the Lord God on high, except for um Jesus Christ, right? And so yeah, I just, you know, I wanted to share that. <laughs> I didn't really have like, you know, a main point other than to encourage the wives, encourage the other homemakers, encourage you ladies to know that the way that you serve your husband should be as unto the Lord. There's a scripture that says, um, let me find it actually, because I want to give it to you exactly, exactly how it says. It's something like do everything as unto the Lord. It is in, let's see. So Colossians 3.23. Give me one second. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance. Let me do a different, um, that was the NIV version. That was actually 23 and 24, but I really want to focus on 23. Uh, let's see. Colossians 323. Okay. Whatever I'm going to read. This is what amplified. Yes. Amplified. Whatever you do, whatever your task may be, Work from the soul that is put in your very best effort as something done for the Lord and not for men. Like, it doesn't matter what it is that we're doing. We should do it as unto the Lord. So even when we are serving our husbands, do it as unto the Lord. <laughs> if, if, you know, if you are doing something with a hard heart and um, out of frustration or, you know, whatever, like your heart's not right. Like that, that's not just against your husband. That's against the Lord. Right. Um, and so anyway, you know, I say all that to say, you know, I realized this morning that the way that I serve my husband matters. It matters. And the five, 10 minutes that I took to make sure that my husband had lunch and, and food for the day, that pleases God 
just as much as me setting aside time to spend with him. I wasn't replacing my time with my husband or any placing my, I was not replacing my time with the Lord, with my husband or anything else. I was doing what I'm supposed to do as a wife, right? My biblical calling as a wife, tending to my household, tending to my husband. And I would do the same when my children are here. You know, um, I encourage you ladies to, if you have not already, or maybe you have read it before, um, I would encourage you to refresh yourself with Proverbs 31. We hear a lot about the Proverbs 31 woman, but I read it again last night and I just really, I was highlighting, I was underlying things that just like the way she was described, you know, and I'm just like, Lord, help me to be that kind of woman, right? Like help me to be the woman that is the keeper of her home, but she's also using the works of her hands to contribute financially to her home, right? You all know how much I desire to to be able, you know, to be that full-time homemaker while still or full-time housewife while still contributing financially to my home, having that flexibility. And I'm believing God for that. Like I am believing God for that. I want that so much. Um and again, I'm just really believing him for it. So anyway, I'm going to get some dinner started. Um I'm just going to roast some sweet potatoes and my husband is going to stop at the store for a few other things for dinner. So I will talk to you ladies real soon. I was getting ready to revamp the office, but now that he called me um, and I guess he got off a little bit early, so I probably won't do the office tonight. It just depends. Um, we'll see, but I need to go ahead and get some sweet potatoes in the oven. So I'll talk to you ladies. I'll talk to you ladies later. Hey ladies and happy Tuesday. It is the next day and we are continuing the vlog. So I just got home not too long ago and so did my husband. So fun fact, today is my husband's birthday. Woo! Um, he uh, is 41 today and does not look like it um, at all. Um, so we just so grateful for another year of life and just looking forward to what God is going to do in this next year um, of his life. So I would appreciate your prayers um, for him um, as he's entering into another year of life. So i um, super excited about that. We do have dinner plans um, in about 20 minutes, we're going to leave and go to dinner. Um, we're going to a restaurant called uh, Del Frisco, Del Frisco's Grill, I think it's called, or just, is it called just Del Frisco's? Del Frisco's Grill. Okay, Del Frisco's Grill. Um, I've never been there, but you've been there, right? Once, yeah. Yeah, he's, nice. he's been there once. Um, so... They say on their website that they're kind of like more upscale or whatever. So anyway, it'll be exciting and nice to just um, have, you know, some time together and to celebrate his birthday. Woo! <laughs> but um, so before I start getting ready for that, I wanted to show you all a very, very quick Walmart haul. You saw that I had to go into Walmart. Um, and I did not film in Walmart. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like filming in Walmart and it's simply because it's just, it's always busy. It's always just people just everywhere. And it just, it can be a lot, right? So, um, I decided not to film while I was in there and just wait until I got back to do, um, this small Walmart haul. It's very, very small, like very small. Okay. So anyway, um, the first thing that I picked up is this scrub mommy. I've seen people use um, the scrub daddy version, which is, I guess, like the original version. I honestly don't know if there's a difference between the scrub daddy, daddy and scrub mommy, but I decided to get this because, um, number one, I wanted to try it, but number two, um, 
the fact that it can be clean and sanitized in the dishwasher and you know i mean i'm used to using just a regular like dishwashing sponge to wash my dishes and then like a regular sponge to you know wipe down counters and different things like that but the truth is that you know they do hold bacteria and things of that nature and so definitely wanted to um to get this and to see it has two sides to it um so it'll be interesting to to check out um it's scratch free dishwasher safe um you know all of that you can do a deep clean with it so if you've used the scrub daddy or the scrub mommy um comment down below let me know what you think about it but i've been really wanting to try it so i figured i had to go to walmart for something else so i figured i'll pick this up i think it was like 3.97 um but again i think it's worth it because it's something that you can reuse you can clean and sanitize in your dishwasher versus a regular dishwashing sponge like at some point you have to throw that away um because you know again just the whole bacteria um it gets dirty really easily um depending on you know what you what what you're cleaning um and all of that type of stuff so anyway we'll see we'll see how this does and then i picked up two packs of my favorite like feminine wipes um so you all know we're all women right so you know that you know our feminine care is is really important and for me i want to use things that are designed for me as a woman but are also more on the natural side i don't want to use things that you know are not going to be um, good for my body or for my skin um, and so this brand I found out from found out about from one of my best friends um, I think it was either earlier maybe it was earlier this year I want to say it was this year that she told me about this brand it's called L and I started using their pads after she told me about them and I love the pads so much. Um, and so I started using their feminine um, wipes, I don't know, maybe like a few months ago. I don't remember exactly when. But these are the LPH Balance um, wipes. It has no fragrances, no dyes, no alcohol or latex. And it's for daily care. It says designed for intimate skin. And it comes with 30 cleansing cloth so this is what it looks like and I have a open pack in the bathroom already and oh this is all also hyper hypoallergenic for sensitive skin um, and dermatologist tested and all of that so um, no ethanol or drying alcohol natural rubber latex um, anyway yeah I think it's something that you would definitely enjoy if you're in the market for something that is more natural um, I would definitely suggest this brand um, like I said I personally use their ultra thin uh, regular pads that they have they also have tampons um, they're they're you know like they also have a feminine wash now I'm on the fence about feminine washes um, personally so I don't use a branded like feminine wash. Um, I use a Dove. Um, I think it's like the Dove that you would get in like the baby section. Um, that is for very sensitive skin. I use that because of course as you know you know you want to be very very careful about you know the things that you use you know down there whatever. And so um, I personally use dove for that purpose so anyway you're just standing there go ahead can you come say hey in the vlog
Hey ladies, how y'all doing? It's his birthday. Birthday, 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 <laughs> it's your birthday. All right, so that is my Walmart haul. Um, we're going to be getting ready in a little bit. Let's see. It's 4.56, so we're going to be leaving in about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, um, and go to the restaurant. So I will talk to you ladies later. All right. Hey, ladies. So we're getting ready to head out, and I just wanted to show you my outfit for dinner tonight. So let me flip you around. Okay. So... Um, I kept it really, really simple because it is cold outside, so I'm not trying to, you know, be out here, you know, doing too much. It is really, really cold. So anyway, um, I put on this sweater, um, just a long sleeve sweater and some high waisted jeans, and I'm just going to do these nude pumps. Um, so that is it. And I changed my earrings into something a little bit fancier. So this is the dinner outfit. I like, I like, I like. <laughs> I feel comfortable. I feel cute. I feel appropriate. So yeah, let's go get some dinner. previous clip um, I went to Best Buy and I picked up my new computer um, I'm so excited like this has been a desire of mine to have my own MacBook um, I'm just so excited thank you Lord um, I to be totally honest I have been using my work computer to edit on so yeah <laughs> i've been doing that um you know um of course not doing anything damaging to the computer or anything like that but just simply using imovie which is you know already on the computer and stuff like that but i've been wanting my own macbook and um i believe that the lord really used my husband to increase my faith um regarding this and um it just it's just amazing it's just amazing how god will use people in your life in your circle to to increase your faith to inspire you to increase your faith and i truly believe that that's what happened um with this and so um this was a a step out on faith for sure okay for sure because i had no intentions of purchasing this right now this was definitely meant to be a future 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 purchase um and i was gonna just you know ride out with what i had while i have it um but yeah i mean the lord really made a way like he just really really made a way just just he just did and um, I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful. So I'm going to open this up and go ahead and get it set up. So let's do it.
Hey ladies, so you just saw me setting up the new MacBook and I really felt led to pray over it. Um, and so that's what you saw me doing. And the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, God is so amazing that even when our faith is weak, like even when we are doubting him about something or we're stressing or overanalyzing about something, God is still so faithful that he'll he'll still come through right he'll he'll still come through he'll still make a way he'll still bless you with just an unexpected blessing and like i said earlier that's what happened here you know i believe that god used my husband to inspire me to grow my faith and then sent sent us just an unexpected blessing right that resulted in this and so i just wanted to pray over it of course thanking god for being jehovah jireh but of course asking the lord to just flow through us as we work on this computer as we edit create content produce things um you know just really um uh work on the vision that god has given us you know that he would really use this computer what we do through this computer for his glory and just praying over it that nothing would break down or anything that we would have longevity with the computer and all its parts and all of that stuff and so you know i just really want to take this opportunity um as i close out this vlog to remind you um to never allow your emotions or the enemy to cause you to question who god is like you know you got to understand that the word of god is truth the word of God does not lie. And there are plenty of times in scripture where God lets us know, hey, I will take care of you, right? Sorry, y'all, I just wanted to move to a, like better lighting, but there's plenty of scripture that, that shows us, you know, that God will take care of us, right? One that comes to mind is, um, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think according to the power that works in us that power is our faith is our faith right and again like i said god is so gracious that in times where our faith is is weak and not where it should be he'll still do exceedingly and abundantly but he, what what would happen if our faith was high if we woke up with expectation right if we if we came against doubt in our heart with the word of god right um and the faith that we have um in him and in his word like he could do so much more right he could do so much more and so i just want to encourage you to don't don't forget who 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 you serve don't forget who god is he is who he says that he is he's the same yesterday today and forevermore and so if you're believing God for something today, I want to encourage you. Yeah, pray about it. Absolutely. But leave it at the feet of the Father. Leave it at the feet of the Father and walk in faith and hope. You know, faith says, I know what God can do. Hope says, any minute now, any moment now, God's going to do it. Hope is about expectation. So walk in faith and hope. Okay knowing that the God that you serve will come through. And he may not, listen, it may not look the way that you think it should look, but rest assured, rest assured, sis, that whatever God does, it is the best for you. It is the best for you, okay? I promise you. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. I'm gonna go through all the screens, get this MacBook set up, um, and I'm just excited. And I just wanna thank you ladies for being on this journey with me. Some of you have been here for a long time and you've seen me in the different like phases um, of, of just life, right? Just doing life. And so I'm just so appreciative for those that have been with me since day one, those that came in the middle, those that just subscribed yesterday. Um, I have a goal of having a thousand women in this community beautifully made community here on youtube by the end of 2022 and um i would love 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 for you to invite okay um a woman onto this channel inside of this community this is not just a channel this is a community and so if you have a friend if you have a sister a co-worker your mom your aunt your grandmother like you know just really i really want to create 
a community of women. And so share, 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 right? So thank you ladies so much for tuning in to another vlog and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.